All preparations for launch are complete. We can depart upon your order, Mr. Edge. <clears throat> All right, listen up, everyone. We can no longer deny that something's happening to our universe. We still have no idea exactly what is happening, nor what's in store for us in the days ahead. But we may find the answer to those questions on EN2. And when we do, believe me, there won't be any turning back. Knowing that, if you still... It's all right. As long as we're all together, we'll be just fine. Okay? If you're going, Edge, so am I. And you too, right, Sarah? Yes. I still haven't learned to fly yet. I'd be in a bit of trouble if you left me behind. All Lucian wanted was to bring peace to the galaxy. I'm going along with you, because I want to, boy. I'm somewhat disappointed you would even ask. We are friends, after all. I'm sure you know what my answer is. My only aim is destroying the Grigori, but... I'll stay until the rightful occupant of this seat returns. Raimi... Listen. What I'm about to do is probably, no, definitely, contrary to our original mission. At best, we'll be discharged from the SRF. At worst... A crew's duty is with their captain. We all believe in you, Edge. Thanks. Calness, engage! Relax. When the lad returns, I will vacate his seat. I... I don't care about FaZe at all, Kay. It didn't even matter if FaZe was here or not in the first place, Kay. Hmm? Lim, your face is telling a different story. Yes, I agree. Like you're lonely and worried and having a hard time dealing with it. I... I'm not worried at all, Kay. Faze is going to be just fine. He's got Crow with him, after all. Mm, I'm telling you, I'm not worried, Kay. <sighs> <sighs> Something wrong, Raimi? What are you planning to do about our report to headquarters? Huh? Our report on Eos and the exploration base. <sighs> our SRF mission still isn't over, you know. I have no idea if they'll believe us about the Grigori, but we won't be able to avoid mentioning Crow. That's true. Crow's no longer... 
His actions have clearly deviated from his SRF duties. There's no question he'll be called to account for them. <sighs> I've been trying to figure out how to prepare this report for so long. My head's killing me. And I guess we'll have to tell them about Captain Grafton and the others. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> what is it? High energy reaction incoming, directly ahead of us. What? All hands, brace for... Uh, <laughs> damn! Oh, dear! Uh. Yeah. Status report! The countless is hit, damage minimal. Propulsion systems, all functions normal. We still have full control. Prepare for retreat! Roger. Damn it! Who the hell is it? I've detected two heat signatures from ships in our path. I'm putting them on the monitor. Are those phantom ships? The ones that attacked the Eldarian refugee fleet? You don't think Crow... He wouldn't allow himself to be killed so easily. These ships must be unrelated. Second wave incoming. I'll return fire. Reroute the weapon controls here. Hey, I'm all for returning fire. But with the armaments on this ship, we won't stand a chance against them. If we try to trade fire with them, we'll be shot down first. Is that so? There's nothing I can do here. Hey, this is no time to be kicking back, Meow! Third wave incoming. It's going to be a direct hit. Too late! We can't evade it! Raimi! Raise electromagnetic shields! On it! Shield strength down to 40%. Hold damage at 6% and rising. Damn! They just don't stop, do they? Now what? Another vessel is closing from behind. Registration unknown. What? More of them? Incoming fire from the unknown vessel. <sighs> What just happened? Did they save us? Do you know them? No. There are no Morphous ships of that design. If anything, that vessel actually looks more similar to... We are not your enemy. Repeat, we are not your enemy. SRF-003 Kalnas, please acknowledge. Kalnas? Do they know us? Acknowledged! This is SRF-003 Kalnis with the USTA. This is Captain Edge Maverick speaking. Got yourself into quite a little jam, huh? Huh? You're... Is he a friend of yours? That's the commander of our moon base, and a hero on Earth. The first man to travel faster than light, the pioneer of space exploration. Lightspeed Kenny. There was a time they used to call me that, yes. <laughs> now, I'm just one of the suits. This is USTA moon base commander Stephen D. Kenny. I am here on USTA orders. Allow us to more properly introduce ourselves, sir. I am Edge Maverick, captain of SRF-003 Kalnas. I'm First Officer Raimi Sionji, sir. I'm Liam Kay. Miracle Shamot here. <sighs> Hello there. My name is Sarah Durand. I'm a feather folk who can't fly. Miss Sarah, come here. Oh, dear.
It seems you have a rather unique crew, don't you? Yes, sir. They're my friends, and I'm very proud of them. Edge, are you sure about this? They're all... The captain of a ship has full authority over all personnel issues, even if those personnel happen to be extraterrestrials. Then... The USTA is aware of the existence of extraterrestrials after all, sir? Yes, though our only direct contact has been with the Eldarians. Mr. Gagan was a true gentleman, very intelligent. <sighs> Have you met Commander Gagan, sir? Yes, a short while ago, in orbit around Mars. He had a fleet of Eldarian ships with him. <sighs> I see. So the refugee fleet managed to escape. So you knew? Huh? No, never mind. First of all, I'd like to have the report from your mission. Tell me, what did your investigations on planet Eos reveal? Edge. I know. Let's tell the Commander everything. Even about Crow? I'm just going to tell him the truth. He'll have to understand. And besides, Crow hasn't done anything wrong. All right. I hereby issue my report, sir. What we experienced, what we learned, everything. That concludes my report, sir. It may be difficult to believe, but everything... Everything you say is true, correct? Huh? I don't have any reason to doubt what you say. You did well, Mr. Maverick. Coming through all those experiences without breaking under them, you did very well indeed. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, that makes the message I must relate to you that much more difficult. Huh? Following the appearance of Gagan's fleet, more and more Eldarian refugee ships came to our solar system. The Eldarians issued Earth and its people an indictment. They said their home planet had been destroyed by Earthlings. What? Huh? But why... Why would the Eldarians accuse Earth of... Because of what they witnessed firsthand. Wave after wave of black SRF ships mercilessly gunning down their refugee fleet. But those were... Phantom ships, you would argue? I can certainly believe that. But... Can you really ask the Eldarians, who lost their beloved homeworld and now wander as vagrants, to believe it as well? It's only natural they would hate what they saw with their own eyes. The SRF. In other words, Earth. Mr. Gagan did come to our defense, but it was for naught. All the Eldarians' hate and anger is focused on us. How dare we use the technology they themselves provided for such ungrateful, shameless acts, they ask. Their indictment could prove to be fatal for Earth and all who live upon it. I trust, of course, that you understand why that is. I do, sir. As we now know, we and the Eldarians are just two of many races living in our galaxy. If this incident were to become widely known... Some of those races would certainly view us as a threat. Even if this did all arise from a mere misunderstanding. We've only just taken our first steps into space. It would present a danger to Earth beyond all imagination. So the USTA was left with no other choice but to offer the Eldarians and the government of Earth this justification. That is a factual impossibility. No vessels of that sort, nor any organizations that might command such vessels, have ever existed on planet Earth. C 
Commander, does that mean... The SRF has been dismantled, along with any evidence it ever existed. <sighs> We're well aware this is nothing more than a charade, but we have no other options to come to terms with the Eldarians. Earth will support the Eldarian emigration without compensation. We cannot allow a non-existent organization to disturb that balance. And so, that's why I'm here. I have come to you in order to bring a bit more realism to that charade. Commander, surely you... All hands, abandon ship immediately. Once you are safely aboard this cruiser, the Kalnus will be destroyed. <coughs> Two of the original SRF vessels still remain. One of them is SRF-003 Kalnus. No such ship exists anywhere in our universe. We cannot permit even the faintest trace of the SRF or its activities to remain. Yeah. 